what you do out of uh, learning or out of uh, order or out of uh, tradition is not the same. Yeah. Maybe in that country there are some good leaders, you see? So the leaders uh, teach the citizen or make an example or govern the citizens well so that everybody go toward that goal. So they use a public fund or anything at all to help other poor people or mobilize the whole country to become uh, religious adherents of one religion or another religion. But it's not the same as people are born with it. Nobody had to tell them anything. They're born into it, and they just have it in their gene. And the people who are the same quality, of course, will be attracted again and again to India, and we're born there. <laughs> Therefore, the whole country become that. So you can't copy it, yeah? Just like if uh, a person who is charitable from the heart, and she or he is very, very uh, conscious of the suffering of others, and anything she or he would do in her power or his power to elevate the suffering of the people, they do it with heart, you know, any time. It's different than the person next door who saw him doing it and tried to copy it, but not the same feeling, not the same concern, for the suffering of other people. But nevertheless, the copy is beautiful. Yeah? We have to start from somewhere. We have to learn from somewhere. So examples are extremely good. So uh, even the Indian people, they don't go out and teach anything, but many people go to India to learn, you see that? Mm -hmm. And emulate their kindness or their uh, hospitality. Of course, people don't write the record about it, yeah? <laughs> But they do. Many people do go to India and then feel the goodness uh, spread also <laughs> into their being, and then they go home do the same. Yeah? Of course, it's not as good as the original, but it's very good. Money is easier to give. You see, like for example, I give money to charity, or I give money so the disciple go out, you know, your brother and sister go out and help the poor. But I respect those people who go out there and help, you know, directly. I wish I could do it myself too, but it's not my direct job, you see? So it's not like I give money and then I feel proud about it. Okay, I'm the one who gives money. No, no, the one who goes there to the direct area and give it to direct the people, they are the great ones, yeah. So money is not everything. Yeah, but of course I have my feeling with it too. We just give what we have and with our honest earning. Yeah, I wish we could give more, you know, but they're better than nothing. Yeah? In some poor country, if I give 30,000, it amounts to like uh, almost half a million or more than half a million. Mm -hmm. Then for half a million dollars equivalent in America, you can buy a lot of stuff. So don't just say, okay, I have only 10,000. It's not too much compared to. For example, Bill Gates giving 10 million. Don't compare. Do what you can. You're not Bill Gates. Do what you can. And I don't do it as a sole donor to the disaster victims. I do it in the knowledge that I'm just doing my part. Everybody else do their part. Can you imagine if, if many organizations, each one give only $30,000, the victim will be singing already. <laughs> Yeah? Singing praise of God already. Yeah? <laughs> that thing is miracle that God bestowed on them. Don't you think so? We're just doing our part. Yeah? And that is, uh, if everybody do their part, then the whole world is never in trouble of any kind. And you know, like, even if 30,000 buy something for people, maybe they live uh, one more day more or two more days, they wait for the bigger thing to come. You know, like a big Red Cross, United Nations, or big country, powerful money, uh, Mongol, to come and help them. But they have to live meanwhile for us to wait for these big helpers, you know? We are not a big helper, of course. We are just doing something, what we can. And that helps them to survive for a while until some better things come. That's the idea, you see? So we just go over there and give it directly <laughs> as much as we can, yeah? Like in Vietnam, we say, một miếng khi đói bằng một gói khi no. Uh, that means you just give me a morsel when I'm hungry, better than you give me a big bag when I'm full. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
because that muscle will keep me alive for a while until I be able to stand on my feet or until somebody else uh, stronger, more powerful come along and help me. Without that muscle, maybe I die already and it's too late for the powerful and the bigger helper to come. I'm dead. You see what I mean? So it's good we do our part. In my heart, I feel the suffering of the people feeling. The more you practice, the more sensitive you become. You feel the broken arm of an ant. You feel the broken wing of a moth. That's why we cannot kill. Not that we don't kill, we can't. We feel, what if you, how can we do it? You see what I mean? Anything make me suffer. If I see them suffer, I suffer. Even an ant or an insect that happened to fall on the ground, I would lift him up and say, you go out there, it's better for you. Yeah, very gently, so that he won't die. His life is precious. He lived only half a day. That's all he has. Life is precious to him. So any insect or anything, we cannot kill because we know he hurts. It's not like you don't kill, you can't. <laughs> you cannot do it. You cannot bring yourself to do it. And that is a natural law. It's not like Master Ching Hai imposed it upon you. You don't kill. You don't hurt other beings. You just can't. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption, cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic-resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus, blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease, or creutzfeldt jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pig's disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, campylobacter, clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating, heart disease, over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer-related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. Maybe in the beginning you, you say, okay, Master say I don't kill, so I don't do it. But later on, as you grow up in spiritual practice, you just can't. Even if I don't tell you, anybody else tell you to kill for your survival, you cannot do it. It just becomes you. You awaken within yourself the greatness the nobility that you have it, yeah? 